Hey everybody, it's Jessie here with Epic Outreach and I wanted to come to you today and talk to you about pet safety. If you have a dog or a cat at home, or maybe you're a rescuer like me and you are constantly out and about and trying to help animals in need that you encounter, having a pet first aid kit is essential uh, to help you help them. And if you have your own pet, it's important that you have items on hand that could help your pet in an emergency situation. So I'm going to tell you how to put together a first aid kit for your pet. Just like human beings, we have first aid kits for ourselves and many of the items are similar, but it's nice to have a separate first aid kit for your pet uh, to keep those items um, separated so that you're not cross-contaminating anything, uh, especially some of the items that you don't want to contaminate. So. One of the first things I recommend, obviously, is a thermometer because cat, uh, capturing the vitals of your pet uh, when in an emergency situation can really help you understand where your pet is at in terms of the emergency or the uh, trauma that they're experiencing. It can also help your vet prepare uh, when you're en route to the vet with your pet if you can per give them vitals, uh, which is uh, temperature, uh, heart rate, and breathing. So having a thermometer and labeling it dogs so that you don't mix it up with your own thermometer because we take our pet's temperature through their butt and you certainly don't want to be using a thermometer that you've stuck in your pet's butt for yourself. So thermometer, I like digital because it's very quick and easy and captures that temperature uh, fairly quickly and our pets tend to not want to sit still for too long. Uh, next would be a temporary leash. This is a temporary leash. It's a loose, um, <clears throat> lightweight leash in case your pet's permanent leash is not available. And if you're like me, I travel a lot, so I have these temporary leashes in my vehicle for uh, containing an animal if it's running loose and or these can also act as a muzzle to uh, protect you from being bitten from your animal. I also recommend a lightweight material like this, a pillowcase. It can help you contain a cat. Uh, you can plop a cat inside here and um, wrap them up to hold them or if you have a short muzzled animal and you can't get uh, a muzzle around them using a leash or some other device you can use this to wrap around their head uh, where they can still breathe um, lightweight material like a sheet or a pillowcase works really well for that um, and helps you to protect yourself gloves are a great tool in case you're dealing with an animal that has a lot of blood vomit or other bodily um, fluids that you don't want to get on yourself these work great to have on hand sterile water and this isn't uh, necessarily a bottle of sterile water but it's a bottle of water that has not been opened so this would be very useful if you're dealing with an animal that has a wound and you need to flush that wound out to get any bacteria out of there or any debris uh, that's in the wound uh, to get it out so it doesn't cause any more infection. Hydrogen peroxide works really well for flushing a wound and getting that uh, infection out. It also is a great agent for if your animal has ingested something that it should not eat. Uh, this will induce vomiting for your pet. So hydrogen peroxide, fairly cheap and I recommend having that on hand. Gauze gauze pads or a gauze roll. A gauze roll can also act as a temporary uh, muzzle for an animal, uh, but it also will help you if there is a wound that's bleeding and you need to um, stop that from bleeding. So gauze pads or a roll of gauze. And then Vetti Wrap. They call it Vetti Wrap. Um, and this is something that you would wrap around the gauze to keep it in place. And um, it doesn't stick to the animal's fur. Um, and cause any more harm to the animal. Here's one of my dogs right there, uh, Riley sticking his nose in, uh, being nosy. So <clears throat> those are some of the things that I recommend for you to have in a first aid kit. I would recommend that you have a first aid kit in your house for your pet, and also if you do a lot of traveling to have a first aid kit in your car as well. So those are my tips for you. If you have any questions, you can certainly reach out to me at Epic animal or jesse at epicanimals.org or you can visit our website at epicoutreach.org and you can also follow me here on youtube for uh, future tips on pet safety and other animal related outreach education so as i always say be kind uh, to yourself 
to animals and to the planet.